Hi, and welcome back to Chicago Motor Cars, ripping their customers off. You know, times at Chicago Motor Cars must be uh, getting uh, pretty tight and pretty rough now that we've spent the last couple of uh, months exposing them. And this is what I'm talking about. The entire level of their vehicles has gone way down way down in quality here's what I'm talking about but they still play their games and they still hide things let me show you what I'm talking about this right here is a surplus uh, auction website basically where you go get junkers okay here we have a 2006 Ford Expedition current price four thousand fifty dollars okay they list the thing as runs good clean it's just average truck nothing big about it okay scroll down we're gonna take a little peek at this truck and these are honest photos as you can see nothing big about it it's been roughed been hit a couple of times nothing that great Whoa, can you guys see that? See that big tear in that seat where somebody tried to stitch it back together? Well, why don't we remember that, okay? So we got big tear in the driver's seat. If you remember those scuffs on the side of the passenger uh, rear quarter, but I'm sure Chicago Motor Cars, they'll paint over that. Let's go take a look at this car. Now, price on it was $4,000. On this website, Chicago Motor Cars, trying to sell that same car, $10,800. Why don't we go to eBay? Because they always got nice listings on eBay. Why don't we see how honest they've been? On eBay, they're listing it as a one owner car. 2006 Ford Expedition Special Service Package. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Pretty much, uh, pretty much pumping it up. Why don't we see? Why don't we see if they were honest with this vehicle? Why don't we go skimming through their photos? Because, like I said, Chicago Chicago Motor Cars is notorious on doing a little touch up, a little buff, a little wash and wax. Uh, and then they bring in a good old photographer. Let's see what they've all done. So, looks good. Got a nice polish on that thing. They probably just polish, uh, polish the daylights out of that car. You can see right there, a little orange peel. See the orange peel? Yep. Oh yeah. They touched up that side, because we just seen where it was scuffed up, looked like it hit something. Hey, you know what I'm curious? I'm curious on that driver's seat. Why don't we take a peek at that? Why don't we bounce ahead? Take a peek at that driver's seat. Oh, there we go, door's open. Next picture should be it. Uh, we're gonna take a picture of the door handle. All right, all right, Perrin, let's be honest. Show me a picture of that seat. Oh, did you see that? See what they did? They cut it off. Pran, you little slide dog, you. We know what's behind there, don't we? All right, let's 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 see if they let's see if they take a picture of it. Let's see if they move out. Nope, went to the other side of the truck. Yeah, they'll show you that side of the picture of the seat. That's the passenger side. That's not the one that's got the big ass tear in it. Oh yeah, good old Prin. Good old Prin up to his games, lying, misrepresenting cars. Prin, you're just a damn crook. That's all that's to it. You're just a damn crook.